right, uh, guys, we have a lot of world premieres still to go. We got uh, Hello Games' uh, first next-gen game. It's called No Man's Sky. Check it out. <laughs> This universe that we've created, it's, it's so vast, it's so boundless, it's actually infinite. And we don't even know what's out there. We should know what's going to be in this game. Not all. Well, it's no, all it's there procedurally are generated. Yeah, there it's are totally random. This is the galaxy. And every one of those stars is its own solar system. So it's like 18 quintillion planets. Were you ever worried the game might get boring after visiting the first trillion planets? <laughs> Every planet in every solar system is fully destructible. Over there, in the distance, is the center of the galaxy. Create like an entire universe, right? And just set players loose in it. And they can do whatever they want. Got the same demo three times where you're like, okay, right, you're pulling out their stars, I got it. And he's just like, I can go to this planet and like shoot stuff. I need, I need a hook. I need the thing of No Man's Sky. I need to know, okay, we're getting to the center of the galaxy, great, but the, what, what am I doing? I'm going to a planet and I'm just smelling the flowers and then I fly somewhere else? What is happening in this game? Yeah. It seems almost like an everything game. <laughs> so No Man's Sky, uh, right. what, what am I doing? What do I do? And it, it just, here's the thing. You, you say you have infinite possibilities. Like, I there's didn't, infinite mm, things you can do. There's I not. I don't think there's infinite. You can fly here, you can, you can land, <laughs> then you can take off again and go somewhere else and land. And you can step out you can and about any so, game. But, but we don't want to tell people how to play the game. They can play it whatever way they want. I Inside. want to know. <laughs> and We've people seen get frustrated when you ask There's about details. But, like, but hey, the way hey, you want details about this game? Tell me about some of the different things that we will find when we visit these planets. Well, in terms of ecology, mm -hmm. like almost anything's possible. So now I'm going to do something really stupid. I've just got to pick one of these at random. If anything horrible goes wrong, just keep in mind that I've not been here before. Here, we're at the boundary between two warring factions. I could join in, I could take sides. But it's such a bold idea. I mean, you guys are literally building your own, like, massively multiplayer world that's procedurally right. generated and... Uh... You could encounter other players. The reality is, the likelihood of that is Tiny, basically. Will you be able to play with your friends? Yeah. Can you grief other players? <laughs> A little bit. You ever get to see ourselves? Uh, no. You don't see yourself, so the only way for you to know what you look like is for somebody else to, you know, to see you. Can you run into other people, other players on the game? Yes, but the chances of that are incredibly rare, just because of the size of what we're building. Yes, it would be possible to, you know, come across somebody, and we want those moments. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I discovered something interesting about this. When peeling it away, they misprinted the thing on the box. Peggy 12. Be super clear. No Man's Sky is not a multiplayer game. Please don't go in looking for that experience. He later added, the chances of two players ever crossing paths in a universe this large is pretty much zero. Meanwhile... Yeah, our streams are, are exactly lined up. If you go look at my stream, we're looking at the exact same area right now if you don't move. There are infinitesimal chances of, you know, very, very small chances of you even coming across a place that another player has been to. Yep, that's the same one. Two players finding each other on a stream in the first day, that has blown my mind. He also said that they added a scan for other players feature to the galactic map to help encourage this kind of thing to happen. No Man's Sky is not a multiplayer game, please. No Man's Sky, I was expecting that next big leap, except backwards. But what happened? It starts off really strong. You're standing there next to your broken spaceship, 
and what you do next is completely up to you. It's magic, for real, it's magic. Those first two hours were just amazing. I was completely entranced by the world and the music and the creatures, but as you sink your teeth into the game, you realize it's a lot of flash and barely any substance. I've explored around 30 planets at this point, and they all play out exactly the same. You find little buildings, you mine materials, run out of inventory space, sell, and you do it again. That's it. The game loses that ability to surprise you way too early, and you're left with this empty feeling of disappointment, of how unfinished it all feels. The big problem is that all the variety is occurring on the very surface level of the game. The planets are different colors. Sometimes you find a goofy, procedurally generated animal. Actually, it's easier to create a dinosaur because nobody really knows what a dinosaur looks like. You know, not accurately, and nobody's seen one in real life. But the gameplay never evolves beyond walking and mining. I've only been playing since Tuesday, and already the repetition, crashing of... Um... Everything appears to have frozen. What? My game just froze again! And my game crashed. What do you know? It's like that, huh? We've made it to the center. We're jumping. Alright. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Did the game just crash? The PS4 just completely crashed. $60! <laughs> Noxious glitches and vast stretches of blank nothingness have almost completely eroded my enthusiasm for this game. I give No Man's Sky a 2 out of 5. More like, no guy, bye. <laughs>